Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 300 new subscribers since the last time we filmed Keto on the Couch. Yeah, now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is Two Crazy Keto and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so this has been a fun week. It really has been. And it has been a like not a lot of dishes week. Why is there a belt sitting on the edge of the couch? Oh, I wanted to point something out. So we oh, were, we were, it figures. <laughs> We were talking yesterday about things, ways that a thrift store will help you right. during your your keto weight loss journey. Can you hold my Waterloo <sighs> strawberry flavor today? Delicious. Um, okay, so one of the things that I learned, buy a belt okay. at the thrift store. It's only going to cost you one or two dollars. Right. Buy one where it just fits at like, it barely fits, right? You, you can fit it with the last hole. Then, as you lose weight, you'll be able to track your progress with this belt a lot easier than you're going to be able to track it on your scale. That's great. That's really great. Because we talked about the scale of Satan. Right. And the size chart on clothes a lot of times is a frenemy at best. I actually hate buying belts because, see, a belt gives you your actual size, right? Yeah. So, like, if you look on the belt, let me hand me that belt because that's my belt, right? Yep. So I wear a size 30 pants, but this is an express size 36 belt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, because, I mean, that's like how wide it is. But I mean, isn't that like aggravating? Like you're wearing a size 30 pant. Like, shouldn't I need a 30 belt? Not no, necessarily. No, you need a 36 belt. Are you totally confused? <laughs> but I actually saw another great tip. I don't remember whose channel it was. It was somebody new who just recently subscribed oh, yeah. to I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put a link to the person up here. I cannot remember. I'm so sorry We're that really I can't bad remember the names. name of it. But she had a great thing where she actually put that over there. Uh, she took strings like yarn mm -hmm. and put it around her waist and then hung it on the wall and then every time she did it with a new piece of string and then when she backed up, you saw these strings and Get you can see and shorter. like shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. That, that was, was really awesome. awesome. I just thought that like if you do it with your belt, then every single time you like move it down another notch, you're like walking in victory that whole yeah. day. Oh no, I think they're both great, but I just, I, it just reminded me of like, you know, the size chart when you're kids. It's a nice reminder as a visual and she hung it up on the wall so right. she could look at it. And I would suggest hanging it up wherever you hang it, like have your scale. Yeah, and don't get on the scale. Yeah, but when <laughs> you do. Or just throw the scale out. And but then... when you do, because we do, I'm like, I am never getting on you again. And then I'm like, I'm on it the next morning. So, so like, yeah, like we said, this has been a fun week. We're doing the Keto Child Challenge. We're not going to talk too much about that since we're vlogging on it every single day. Yeah. There's no reason to harp on it here again. I do want to say, though, um, I was talking to Chris, and I think on our wrap-up video of it, yeah, okay, we're gonna do a giveaway of some keto chow. Yay! So, and the way we're gonna we're gonna run the giveaway the way we always run the giveaway, but then Chris is going to just send it directly to yeah. them. I'm not. We haven't kind of worked out the details. I don't know if it's gonna be like an assortment pack or if they can just pick whatever flavor they want, like one flavor or so. Yeah. But we will. that will be on the final video, so make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so that you can see when that comes up. We just help determine the winner, and then they can get it directly, get from, it directly from, them. from them. Yep. And speaking of giveaways, we have a lot of giveaways going on. We do. On. What is going on currently? We've got Alterna Sweets. So right now, we just launched, We just put up the Alterna Sweets today. So for you guys, it's Monday, so you have until Friday you know, after seeing this to enter in that. Um, we have a Grapau video coming up with some Grapau. giveaway of Grapau. Um, also, High Key Snacks, yes. which was in our keto box, I think it was, mm -hmm. they reached out to us and we're going to next week, fortunately it's next week because we can't eat anything this week. I know. But they've got like a brand new like hot cereal that they're launching. How cool is that? 
that? I think it was a hot cereal or cereal. Oh, no, it was a granola. Okay. And it's like a breakfast granola. Mm -hmm. And they're sending us some and they're asking us to uh, try it out, do a review on it. And then we're going to do a giveaway of that and the cookies and the instant hot cereal. Mm -hmm. So that giveaway is going up next week. We're going to help them launch their products on YouTube. I love that. Well, their cookies are really good. Incredible. Delicious and crunchy. If you miss that, like Chips Ahoy cookie. And I think there's another giveaway. So, and we just finished announcing the winner for the Keto Brick giveaway. Yeah. So we have a lot of, all of these giveaways, by the way, are basically a result of KetoCon. Yeah. So get in on them now because then we'll probably take a little hiatus from giveaways. Yeah. So make sure you So make like, sure you're getting in on all these. And and put your comment on each individual video. Yeah. So like you're going to be looking for the Alterna Suites contestants in the Alterna Suites video comments. Right. And I love the fact that we get to do these giveaways because it's a way to give back to you guys a little bit and give back to the community. We love you guys so much. Which reminds me something I wanted to talk about. A lot of people keep messaging us and asking us like, hey, what can I do to support you guys? Which completely blows us away. Yeah. Like I cannot believe like just the warmth and, and the love that you guys have showed us. Like it just, oh, it's just amazing. Yeah. And people keep asking us like, do you guys have a Patreon? Which we don't. And we talked about it and we, we just don't want to do that with the channel right now. No, we really feel like this channel is, is just a ministry. We, right. we just want to invest in in you guys and and spread the keto message. Like we've enjoyed so many health benefits, and our family has been so blessed by living this keto life that we just want to spread the word as far as possible. Right. And so obviously, it does cost a lot of money to run the channel, like buying cameras and lights and stuff like that. So the best way that you can help us is help us grow the channel. Yes. So that that's the best way because so what ha the way you can help us grow the channel is. Number one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. And then also if you can, every time you watch a video, if you hit the like button and leave a comment down below like we talk about at the beginning of every video, what happens is that shows that advertisers and YouTube that you're engaged with us mm -hmm. and it puts us higher up on recommended videos. Yeah. So if you're engaged with us constantly, then YouTube will recommend our channel to other people. If somebody just kind of comes on, if they've ever searched keto or any kind of diet or anything, even on like Google. Yeah. Like as soon as they open up YouTube, they'll say like, hey, go check out Too Crazy Keto. You know how it is when you like have purchased toilet paper on Amazon and then all of a sudden everywhere you look is right. like toilet paper ads. Like that's what it is. Yeah. So that's the best way to grow the channel is just if you like every video and if you leave a comment on every video, it just tells everybody that you're super engaged with us and that we're engaged with you, especially when we respond back. I do want to say, like, even though the channel is growing, we do read every single comment. Every single comment. And the way you'll know if we read your comment is we always put a heart on it. Yeah. So if there's no heart on it, it means we, we haven't, haven't read it yet. yet. Because obviously we have more comments now, so it does sometimes take us a couple of days to get to it, but we will get to it. We, we added something that was really important to us that we will read every single comment and the ones that need a response, we're going to respond to. Not, you know, but we're not at least reading Not always negative it. ones. Not always negative ones. Yeah, we don't respond to negative. Yeah. So, so that's the best way to help grow the channel. If you want to support us financially, please don't send us money. Like, don't do that kind of stuff. But if you do want to help us, the, if t the best way you can help us, like, support the channel to pay for the stuff like that is if there is a product that we like and we, like, recommend and we have an affiliate for, if you use our affiliate link, like it our doesn't portal. cost you any money, no. but they pay us. Usually it's, like, 2% or 3% or something like that. It's not a whole lot of money. Um, but just the, all those little pennies can kind of add up. And also if there's products that we use from Amazon, if you go onto our website, we have a page of like our favorite Amazon products. If yeah. you buy them through that, that will give us, it, it gives us Amazon money basically. So basically I like the idea of you guys being so awesome and like helping us, but it not costing you anything. Yeah, that's, that's the <laughs> biggest thing. So that's the best way you can support us. Just constantly engage with the channel. And use our affiliate links if it's something you want. Don't buy a product. No. Like because we like it, but you don't want it, but you want to support us. Just if it's something you like. Yeah. Okay. So enough with the money stuff. Yes. So, oh. I don't like talking about that, but I did think it was really cool though because that's another giveaway we have. Yes. Um, the just made keto video uh, oh, giveaway for the, the icing, icing and the cupcakes, and she's actually sending us some cupcakes to review. Okay, that's a nice thing. I'm excited about that. But she messaged me and said, like, you guys have like the most incredible subscriber audience. We do. She was like, they are so engaged. They're so nice. She was like, just the positive comments, like they're leaving on our Instagram. And 
and she's like, wow, I can't believe how like nice your audience is. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys that like, I, I don't know, that's, that's a, a huge goal for us. Just whether you are keto or not, just sending positivity out, you know, being kinder than what is necessary is kind of like our goal in life. Right. Right. That's, that's really a message that we want to send. So yeah, I love that, that they're like, hey, Two Crazy Keto sent me, and you guys are the nicest people ever. Right. It's just, it it really warms our heart. So thank you for, yeah. for just being you. So anything else going on this week? How's your bicycle riding going? My bicycle riding is going amazing. So here's the thing. Because I want to report back appropriate information, right? right. I'm doing this Keto Chow Challenge, and I'm not cheating at all because I'm afraid that if I do, I'm going to be giving you guys wrong information. So a side effect of that is I'm behaving myself and I'm experiencing good success. I think that if we get off of the keto chow and just get back to our you know regular tracking our macros, but I behave myself, right? We will still have continued good success. So, but because I'm doing the right thing this week. I have got so much energy, I've got so much mental clarity that I have been bike riding all over the place. <laughs> I I went all the way down to Walmart. Wow. And I circled our Walmart that's like several miles away. Wow. It's been pretty amazing. Now you know it's not the keto chow itself, right? It's No, it's not cheating. It's that it's you're doing the right plan. thing. And I want people to know that. I mean, I know some people have asked, like, well, why are you doing the keto chow? For us, it was just a fun challenge. You know what? We like to do fun, stupid challenges. Well, it's fun, but also I wanted to make sure that if somebody did use it as a meal replacement and there was any bad side effects or right. you had anything wrong, I want it to happen to us. Right. Have us happen to it first, and then we'll be able to tell you guys don't do it. But Which is one of the reasons I even like Chris, because like he tested it on himself. He did 100 days of it. So, so. You, yeah, that's somebody who believes in his product. Right. So, But we haven't had any bad side effects. It's all been good side effects. Yeah, but I, my point was just that, like, you know, all of these different challenges or fasts we do, whether it be the Keto Brick Challenge or, like, you know, the, the Keto Chow Challenge or the Egg Fast or we're talk, talking about doing a Beef and Butter Fast, that kind of stuff. There's no magic in any of those. The, the whole point for us is it's something weird and silly for us to do Keeps and entertaining for you guys. But the only, the only thing that makes it like a magic pill is the fact that if you stick to it, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. It's not like only eating eggs is going to make you lose more weight than like eating ground beef. It's just that- You've created it's, a boundary. It, you're putting a boundary up. Yeah. But I don't think it's healthy to only do that either. I don't think yeah. it's healthy to only eat keto chow. I don't think it's healthy to only eat eggs because what happens is the second you don't eat keto chow or the second you don't eat eggs, like it becomes like this, you know, free for all for everything. But I think it's proving that no matter what challenge we take on, if we are setting the appropriate calories, we're setting the appropriate fat levels, we're setting the appropriate carbs, yes. and we're sticking to it, no matter what we eat, we are experiencing success. Right. Yeah, but I just wanted to say that because I'm loving the keto chow, but I don't want people to think like I can. You can only lose weight and have success if you do keto chow. No, I think it's a great option for somebody who is on the go who like does doesn't mind meal replacement shakes is used to something like a slim fast but at least here it's all like pharmaceutical grade like vitamins and minerals yes. and and good good ingredients as opposed to buying you know the garbage from slim fast or, or like all of the other big corporations who have tried to take advantage of keto yeah because i've used meal replacement shakes in the past and different ones i've lost hair i mean i i've had like really bad side effects from them right that you don't want one side effect I've had from, from the Keto Chow Challenge this week is I've been going to bed earlier. Which is nice. Yeah, I don't Magnesium? know. It's, it's Well, I think, first of all, probably all of my levels are right or are correct for the first time in a long time. And also, I've been trying to eat earlier instead of eating later and later and later. So I've been falling asleep at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, which probably sounds late for a lot of people. But for me, I usually don't go to bed, bed till like 2. Yeah. So And then I get up at 6. Thank you, Keto Chow, because of, that's nice. Of course, you have been getting up at like 5 a.m. And I thought we said 5 a.m. getting up was like done, like when Caleb graduated. I know. That's what was my plan. But I feel so accomplished. Like I'm able to do my shipping and go to the post office and get my bike ride in and do my devotions and, and be like done with a, a whole morning life by 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. The so now I have a whole day. This, the problem with this is... 
you you set like three alarms. I do. And they all go off like one minute apart from each other, which makes no sense to me. And they're all super annoying sounding. And they're super annoying sounding. It's like a song and or so now a I don't sound. Have, now I have to get up. So even if I don't want to get up, now I'm up. Sorry. <laughs> then a lot of times you hit the snooze button on them. I do. <laughs> it's a strange dynamic we have going on in the morning. So the only thing for me with the bicycle riding was um, because we went away mm -hmm. and I had like gotten all my work done in those first couple of days. Then I came back and then we had to kind of play catch up from going away for a week. And then this week we everything was piled into this week because we had gone away and then we had a bunch of rain. So like I've only been able to go bike riding like three days this week. But Anthony's been riding my bicycle. He is. He's been using that Pokemon Go app. Right. I mean, there's also like a Harry Potter one, but he says the Pokemon Go one is like way better. But he is bike riding like seven miles a day. Which is incredible. I'll, I'll take it. Whatever it takes to get him riding his bike, go for it. So there's not much more to talk about. We don't have any food to talk about. We've only been eating one thing all week. But we are. I'm excited for next week's yeah, food eating. Yeah, I was going to say. Next, I'm already planning out. Like next week I'm eating this and I'm eating this and I'm eating this and I'm eating this. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to Amazon Prime Day. Yeah, we have Amazon Prime Day coming up. So, you know, we, do you, I don't know. I'm going to look for. What do you think you're going to buy? I don't know. I, uh, my thing is Amazon Prime Day is dangerous for me. Because I just kind of go down the list. But I did just like buy my iPad and I bought Caleb an iPad. So now I've got to go watch Amazon Prime to see if they're selling it cheaper than I paid for it. Oh, At which point, a... because I did, I was smart enough to buy the iPad from Amazon within the return period. So if it's a significant change, like if it's like 50 or or $100 cheaper than what I paid, guess what? These are going back. And then I'm going to rebuy it. Okay. So. So you can, they'll do a price adjustment. No, they don't do a price adjustment. I would have to buy the new one and then return this one and wait for my money to come back. But if it's like $100, it's worth it. Yeah. So you want to do comments? Yes, please. Do we have a subscriber of the week? Yeah, we have a subscriber of the week. So the subscriber of the week this week is, it's actually a family. Wow. Okay. But it comes from our Facebook family group. And again, if you're new to our channel, we have a Facebook group. There's a link for it down in the description where everybody just kind of interacts. The most incredible people in the whole world. Yeah. So um, this was posted by Chrissy. Chrissy, Hi, Chrissy Nusky. Oh, wait, it just disappeared. There it goes. She's back. Chrissy Nusky. And it's for her whole family. So um, it's, it's kind of long, but I'm going to read it. So she wrote, thought I'd introduce ourselves to you. We have been keto for two years. We started because my son has Tourette's syndrome, where he has many vocal, motor, and mental tics. He has OCD, pretty bad, where things have to be even. Uh, we've tried so many things, and I was bound to determine to find something to at least help him. We tried medication, CBD, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, essential oil, supplements, therapy, chiropractic care, and homeopathy, and a naturopath. Why does it keep going all the way to the bottom? There we go. I think you keep bumping it. Nothing worked. His pediatrician recommended keto. Within two weeks, I think it's awesome that a pediatrician is recommending keto. Thank you, pediatrician. Yes. So she wrote, within two weeks, he was a brand new child. Wow. Fast forward. Most people don't even realize he has Tourette's. He has zero signs of ADHD, and though he still suffers with OCD, is much more manageable. He is so strict with keto because he knows how high fat makes him feel. Wow. MCT oil really helps, and recently we started giving him parts of a keto brick in the morning, and he loves it. Thank you, Keto Savage. My husband lost 100 pounds, and my fibromyalgia and Hashimoto's are all in remission. Wow. We hardly ever get sick, and we are passionate about keto. My husband would like to lose another 50 pounds. He's been stalled for close to a year. We've tried carnivore and fasting, and his body is set where it's at. We would never go back to the standard American diet, but we would love to educate ourselves and others on other successes. We enjoy watching Two Crazy Ketos and come across your videos, searching to see if anyone has ever done a keto brick a day fast. And by the way, our son Brandon was featured on Diet Doctor. Wow. We are so, so happy for yeah. this entire and family. Wow, we do have some pictures, which I had up, but it just like such incredible difference in the entire family. And I had showed those pictures to Anthony, mm -hmm. and he was like, wow, like their son looks like a different child. Yeah. So, and just like, a great job, guys. You guys are incredible. And yeah, like for us, that's the thing. I mean, the weight loss is great, but look what's going on health wise in their family. Like, what is your quality of life like in that family? You know, how has that changed? Like, right. our quality of life has changed so much. And it's not just because there's more room in our pants. 
You know, it's more about like what's going on in our mind, what's going on with inflammation. You know, we're not sore anymore. Right. I mean, it makes a huge difference. And that's why one of the videos that we are planning with a possible collaboration with somebody, I don't want to say who it is until we get it, can get it nailed down. I'm excited. But um, talking about the whole idea of like keto as a family yeah. that like keto isn't just for weight loss it, it you know and that people with small children people with children in their house like we should be working with those children to get them onto a proper diet instead of eating all of the garbage and i was watching a video the other day with somebody and they were talking about like oh no it was actually chris from keto chow and he was talking about like answering a question like should children be eating keto chow and he's like Legally, he has to say it's like not for children and pregnant women and everything else. Yeah. And they talk about like because like proper nutrients and everything like that. But here's the thing is I'm to quote him loosely mm -hmm. is a dinosaur nugget proper nutrition. Really? Like, right. Is a pop tart proper nutrition. Yeah. So like why are we encouraging our children and our families to eat all of this garbage? We're eating well, like eating keto. Yeah. Because like we care about our weight, but we're allowing our kids to continue eating the other garbage. Macaroni and cheese. And <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I think there's still a stigma. There's a fear. There's a right. fear surrounding it that it's like, you know, it's okay for adults to be guinea pigs on this diet that may or may not be a fad. And we don't want to put our, our kids on this diet. But I think when we reduce sugar in the lives of children, we're all going to be blessed. Yeah. So that's why we are working on like a series and possibly a collaboration with a, with a large person or not a large, big, big size, but a large, a big name within the keto community of possibly doing something. Just talking about like, what could we do for families? Because yeah. that is where our heart is. It is. So let's do some comments. So my sister wrote, uh -oh. um, I just saw Denver is going around uh, rounding up the Canadian geese huh. and they feed the meat to the needy. I saw that at the same time that I saw the governor encouraging people to kill the iguanas in Florida, which are taking over Florida. Yes, the governor is actually encouraging us to kill the iguanas in our yards. Okay. And there's actually public lands where we can go do it too. Okay, so here you go. I ran into a US Postal Service truck this week. Okay. Like ran into it with my bicycle because I was driving on the sidewalk and somebody did kill a giant iguana and then left it in their yard. Now that could have been the hawk. No, we, this thing was huge. We got and some it, huge hawks. It had its head. Okay. And it was just laying there dead. And so I was like, la la, you know, Mary poppins it. And I was like, la la la. And then I was like, ah. So I, I went off the sidewalk, went through the grass and hit the mail truck. Should I expect like like a ten thousand dollar repair bill from the mail company now? No, I, d I didn't dent it too okay. hard. So um, too hard. <laughs> yeah. So I apologized profusely, and the lady postal carrier was like, "I know, it's terrible. I'm about to just quit. I can't take it with all these lizards. Every time I walk up to a door, I don't know what is rustling in the bushes and about to come out at me. So wow. see, she feels my pain." So she she actually wrote um, he didn't the governor didn't mention to eat them yeah they eat them um, people mostly islanders eat them and they they actually call it chicken of the trees chicken of the trees is that like oh my gosh chicken of the cave remember yeah. that from Anchorman too so Jeff Fisher wrote you guys are going to be at ten thousand subscribers in no time I love your content almost daily boy I hope that's that would true. be awesome that and again awesome. the best way for us to get to ten thousand subscribers is to like the videos and leave comments we need you. So Lindsay Schroff wrote, there is no I way I would be in a park with all those tiny dragons. Just no way. I, I think that if I knew we would end up being surrounded by them, I wouldn't have been there either. It's that thought that I'm going to walk through and I'm going to scare them off and they're going to like leave and then be gone forever. Then I was okay because I'm like, they're gone. But the fact that they came back yeah. and circled us. Uh, Hope M wrote, you guys are hilarious know. and brave. No way I would be out there with all those reptiles. Ew. Ugh. Latanya Thomas wrote, Hi, Latanya. Rachel, I'm hollowing for you too. Those iguanas looking at you like it's lunchtime. Hope you made it out of the park okay. I love the recap of KetoCon in every video you did. Felt like I was there. Um, thanks to the awesome couple that gave you these tickets. Yes. And looking forward to, next, to the next Keto on the Couch. Thank you. Katie Walters wrote, Hi, Katie. We always love what you all are doing. Peeing is, of course, the first line of defense against the swarm of iguanas. Peeing is my first line of defense in any situation where I'm afraid. 
Uh, Chloe, five Susan wrote. Hi, Chloe. OMG, the iguanas. It's hot and humid up here in Indiana, but no iguanas. Ha. We have groundhogs and Canadian geese, geese the plenty. Uh, thanks for the uplifting video. It makes my day. Thank you. Can, the Canadian geese are beautiful. Yeah. Those are majestic. But they are like a nuisance in some places. My mom actually lived in Evansville, Indiana for part of her childhood and loved it. Oh, wow. Constance Dunlop wrote, hey, Constance. look at Joe playing it off all cool. Inside, he's shaking because he has to save Rachel from all the raging animals. Serious. I mean, you can t I looked at that and you could tell you were just kind of like... Oh, I just couldn't believe it. It's about to go down. But yeah, no, I'm writing him out. Like you, you would be like in the Titanic. You'd let me float on the door, right? Of course I would. You, you'd, you'd let go of the door and. Of course I would. Thank you. Would you let go of my hand? No. In fact, I've always thought that they could have both floated on that same piece of wood, <laughs> right? Like they could have both fit. <laughs> I was like, wow, you let go of him. I won't let go of you. I will drag your frozen carcass onto dry land. Uh, so Kathy Houston wrote, Hi, Kathy. Uh, congrats to Teal. That was the winner of the Peeling yes. Nuts, right? She's like, are the iguanas aggressive or do you just not like them? They're not super aggressive, but they can bite. Depends on the iguana. Yeah, it does, it does depend on the iguana. We had a but, neighbor that got bit. Yeah. The problem is they are super invasive. They're not native here. They cause a lot of destruction to like your foundation of your homes because they dig tunnels under everything. So they dig under your foundation, they dig under bridges and tunnels and everything else and can cause like a lot of damage. And they can be very ballsy. And they have they lay like 80 eggs at a time. So yeah. they just multiply and multiply. And they carry salmonella poisoning. It, they, well, you can't shoo them away. No. They just look at you. Like, They're not afraid of anything. No, which is that... Anything that is not afraid of anything is like, that's a red flag for me. Right. <laughs> so Donna Sparrow 4 Hi, wrote, Donna. Uh, those iguanas would freak me out. But question, Rachel, are you still doing your bike rides? We already answered that. Yes, I <laughs> am. Uh, Miss Beth wrote, Hi, Miss Beth. I live an hour north of Rachel and we don't have, we don't have very many. Ooh, ooh, you guys need to move up here. Man, possibly. If it, if it gets any thicker... I'm definitely going to contemplate Don't it. Don't worry. They're going to go up there with you. You'd have to move like way up north. They're coming for you, Miss Beth. Um, Nancy A. wrote, hey, time Nancy. marker, 12.15. A couple people actually noticed this. Oh, this was the best. Time marker at 12.15 under Joe's arm. Ha, ha, ha. So take a look at this. Use the caffeine more, but eliminate some of the caffeine crash. I mean, if you ever watch Thomas DeLauro talk about all the th different things you should mix when you're drinking coffee to get... So yeah, Rachel called me up and she goes, all of the subscribers are noticing there was a duck that like wandered under your arm and took a poop. <laughs> and it looked like your armpit pooped. It was awesome. You guys are super observant. You don't know how hard it was for us to train that duck to poop like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so Katie Walters wrote again, hey, thank Katie you both. Again. None of this happens without a ton of energy from you both. I know it, may, it takes a ton of effort to put out this many videos. See how awesome you guys are? Yeah, thank you. You're amazing. We enjoy doing it. That's why we're willing to do it. I mean, we it do. is a lot of work and effort, but we love doing it. We so do. Thanks for interacting with us. It's easy to do something when you love it. Yeah. Rosie Morrow wrote, you guys are a beautiful couple. Love the way you look at each other. Aw, thanks, Rosie. You just don't see how we look at each other when we're off camera. <laughs> no. Gary Sippa wrote, Hi, Gary. You guys deserve more than 2,000 views. I watch people that have a lot more and they are nowhere as great as you guys are. I think he meant 2,000 subscribers, but thank you. Thank you. That is so sweet. I certainly don't begrudge anybody subscribers, and I, I'm so thankful that like it doesn't drain God in the least to, to let everybody be, have provision. So, yeah. But that's awesome. Like, thank you, Gary. You're so sweet. So Bambi Hamilton wrote, Hi, Bambi. I love you guys so much. I think you're two of the best examples of being Christian. Oh, my oh gracious. please don't lump us into that I don't, I don't we're, know. If... No, we're not. We, we try hard, but we are far from good. Yeah. Um, I almost want to move to Florida and go to your church. Well, come on down, Bambi. Yes. We would love to have you and anybody. We actually had a subscriber come and uh, visit us at church. Yep, last uh, week. Yeah. Actually, two, one week when we were gone, we and were in one last week, she, week They Austin. brought their grandchildren. Yeah. And it was awesome. Awesome. I got a hug in real life. Yes. That's my favorite. So Tara Simpson wrote. Hey, Tara. Try pick, Pickeridin. Is Pickeridin. that how you pronounce that? Pickeridin? I don't know. You can't have me like say things. We got in so much trouble this week, or I did. Oh, because you, you didn't pronounce uh, lessethan right. We got some real hate. 
What do you say? Are you saying Nail. lecithin, right? It's yeah. lecithin. No, I was saying like lecithin. Oh, lecithin. Yeah, and it's how... lecith lecithin. Lecithin. Yeah. Yeah, we got... You I got, got it now, right? I got in big trouble. <laughs> Damn, I hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so she said, try Pickerton for the mosquitoes. Sawyer makes a lotion that is awesome. I used it backpacking in the UP last year, and it was a game changer. The oh, wow. second I applied the lotion, they left me alone. We're going to have to try that because like Definitely. today I was cutting grass at the church, and there's like, you know, where the runoff goes, mm -hmm. it was just mosquito central. I was getting attacked as I was running on the mower. So if you are getting mosquito bit, you would like, I'd be dead. Bad. And, and I, what I'm really afraid of is all those little kids that yeah. go to church. Well, it's way down on the north end, nowhere near the church. Yeah, but, but if they go running around the yeah. campus. Um, so Mama Cox 104 hey, Mama wrote. Cox. I ordered some Redmond Real Salt. Oh, awesome. Um, so far, I love it. I've ordered several different kinds off of Amazon in the past compared to Redmond. Uh, compared to Redmond, Redmond is the best. It is the real deal. If you're looking for pink salt, get it from Redmond. I threw out all the other salt and the price and price wise was uh, the price was great. I just got gave some to my sister-in-law and she had some really nice high quality Himalayan pink salt. And you know, we just did a little taste test right there. And, and you know what her first response was? Wow, the Redmond is very sweet. Yeah. And it, it is. It, and if you taste it next to um, table salt, well, it's like incredible. Well, it's like eating sugar. Well, that's like, yeah. Well, that's like the versus garbage. And again, there's nothing wrong with Himalayan pink no, salt. No, but okay. it's interesting to taste the difference. Here's the difference between Redmond and Himalayan pink salt and why we switched. Okay, first of all, the Himalayan pink salt, there's like, I don't know, seven or eight different mines. And, you know, obviously they're all in the Himalayan mountains, right? Hopefully. And so it's got to travel a long way over here. Mm -hmm. But that is the next best thing. The Redmond is coming from mines that are deep underground in Utah. So it's only traveling in our country. Yeah. And so and they're not exposed to the air around it. So it's like as few toxins as possible. And you know exactly where it's coming from, as opposed to you don't know which one of the mines the Himalayan pink salt is coming from. You but if you can't get the Redmond, pink salt is the next best thing. And then after yeah. that, then you got like the Celtic sea salt and stuff like that. But you really want Redmond or pink salt. Yeah. And you can actually do tours of the Redmond salt mines in Utah. Yeah. It's kind of That's cool. another giveaway we have coming up. They're sending us some stuff for a giveaway. Well, salt, not, we're not giving away a tour of no, the mine. No, <laughs> I want that. Ann Ann wrote, Hi, Ann. Utah next April? Yes. Wow, could be an RV trip for us where we're totally in love with that part of the country. Ah. A big RV towed by our F-350. Think of the keto haul that we could make and no TSA or cheesy airlines required. Oh my goodness. She wrote, I love what you took away from KetoCon with regards to the companies. It's hard not to support these companies that I would assume are mostly from the USA. Yeah. Most of them are actually from Utah. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot from San Diego, too. I yeah, thought. but there's a lot in Utah. A mm -hmm. lot in Utah. She said, my husband and I have been watching all of your videos with great interest. Thank you for so much. Thank you to so much for your passion and support of the keto community. I'm not comfortable in social settings, but I have a feeling this community would be a different for me. Yes. As for the iguanas, no thank you. I know it's uh, becoming a big problem, though. And yes, like any anybody has an opportunity. We'll say it again. You have an opportunity to go to like a keto uh, community meetup. Yeah, Can you go. go to a convention in your area? Go. I'm actually trying to work out a way to go to Low Carb Houston. I want to go to Low Carb Houston this year. Wow. I looked it up. I looked it up. The problem is, is the weekend, you're going to have to either cancel or move a date for like a get together you were having because it's the very last weekend of October. But flights from Fort Lauderdale to Houston were like $110 when I looked last night. That was amazing. Like compare that to the $400 we paid to go to Austin. Big difference. Big difference. So I would love to go to Low Carb Houston. That's how, I just love being at the Low Carb event. I want to go to another one, like right now. I just want to see people's. I really want to go to the one this weekend, but we couldn't, or next weekend, but like it was just too short of a notice for us to go to Connecticut. Yeah. Um, so last one. Hezzy Ann wrote, hey, funny Hezzy story. Hezzy Ann is who gave us our tickets. Yep. Uh, funny story, as we were watching the video, as Joe was showing Phil's shirt, the mailman came to the door with Phil's shirt. <laughs> She's oh, like, we cool are so that? happy you had so much fun at KetoCon and were able to meet so many people. We are planning on going to Utah and KetoCon next year. Oh, good. Just praying that my knee and hip issues get resolved with my new chiropractor. Absolutely. We will, we will be, be praying, praying for, for that. You. And yes, we I definitely would like you to come and hang out with us because we are definitely next year going to both of those events. Yeah. So. And if you guys, any of you have any prayer requests you'd like us to pray about, please go ahead and email them to twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Yeah. We'd love the opportunity to pray for you. 
Well, that is Keto on the Couch for this week. If you have wow. any questions or comments or anything that you want us to discuss next week, leave it down below. That's where we pull all the comments from, from yep. the Keto on the Couch. Um, if you like what you saw, do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to yeah, it. Yeah, and make sure you hit that little bell icon because we have a lot of videos. I think next week is going to be like two a week, two a day. Yeah. So, until next time. Bye. Bye.